Hello friends, this is Sohan and welcome to my channel Technical Spark. In our WC series, this is our 7th video and in this video I am going to cover how to change default content location from one location to another. Guys, if you in case you didn't know what is content location, then uh, content location is something where your WSUS application basically downloads all the patches and store it in into your that particular folder. In my case, my content location is D drive WSUS repository. So you can also call this as a WSUS repository. If you check out in WSUS content, then there are so many patches or updates is stored into this particular folder right in such that i haven't uh, downloaded anything so there is nothing is available here but yeah in contents i have lots of data in my uh, particular server this is almost 9.83 gb of space utilized by this folder so when exactly you need to move your content directory from one location to another for instance if your drive is got full and there is no way you can increase your drive or you wanted to move this particular location to another your NAS SAN right so to change this location it you cannot just cut and uh, cut this particular directory and paste it to another location otherwise your WSUS application will not be able to download and serve the updates and for that there is one special or you can say there is a one best practice which needs to be followed so that your app, WSUS application will function properly even after you change the content store location right now if you check out then my this particular WSUS is working very much perfectly without any issue and as I shown you this is my current content location which is in D drive if you wanted to verify in a different different way then there is a you know options I'll let me show you very first we'll have to go to the IS manager under IS manager simply expand the sites go to the WSUS administration and here is a content directory right click manage virtual directory advanced setting so here also there is the same path d colon backslash WSUS repository under that WSUS content which means our this particular location now let me close this as well as if you go to the registry then there also you can see the current content location in registry editor go to the hklm then software then probably microsoft yeah and here you will have to search for update server services expand then server under this setup and if you check out here it's also same location wsus repository everywhere you are going to see the same location which is currently active and used by wsus manager if you want you can directly go to the computer management in this if you you know expand the shared folders shares then here also you will find the same location which is d drive for logs it is in the another directory that is c drive but that is fine so to change the location you will have to run certain commands so that all your data will get copied from one directory to another directory and then uh, once everything is done then probably you can go ahead and delete this your existing directory so how you can do that right this is the question in your mind so no issues very first type the cmd in your search box and open this with the administrative privilege now here we have to browse one directory so currently I am in my root directory now type the command which is cd c colon backslash which means your c drives then program files backslash update services backslash and tools hit enter now here let me verify my tool is available or not yeah the tool is available this is the default tool you don't have to copy from anywhere now let's run this wsus util.exe space now here we have to move the content but i don't remember the exact command so let me just type help move content perfect so as you could see here is uh, you know it provided some uh, additional information regarding how we can use this particular command so this is the way you can write down your command 
So more content is our primary focus after the resource util and the content path, which means the current folder directory which is in D drive. So in this particular directory, where exactly you want to move? So in my case, I would like to move this directory into the E drive. Correct. After that, where you want to save the log files. And at the last, skip copy. Skip copy means it, this particular actually indicates that only the server configuration should be changed and the content files should not be copied. This parameter is optional. So here we are not going to use this. And if in case we use this, then it won't copy the actual downloaded files. It will only copy the configuration from one location to another. And then it will again start downloading. So we don't want to get stuck into that process. So we'll choose what exactly I have created the video, which means moving this particular directory, WSUS repository to another with proper steps. So let me just little bit of rest of the same command. And here let me yeah WSUS util dot move content space. Now I'm going to give this particular path. If you want guys, you can create one folder here like WSUS and then uh, you know provide this particular path. But in my scenario, I'm not going to provide any folder. So I just want to type e colon backslash. That is the my particular folder where exactly is data needs to be moved. Now the next is where you want to save the you know this particular process log file. So that would be in C drive. And let's give the one uh, name to this particular uh, file wsus move dot log. Once you are done, then you can verify your syntax move content, content path, and log file. So we have given all the required parameters for the required things. Now, in the one side, let me open this particular e drive which is currently in empty stage, as well as let me open the one more directory. So that you will understand how exactly this process works. As well as let me you know check the properties of this particular drive. So my total properties is 9.83 GB. Okay, and we are moving this particular uh, you know, data from this location to this. So moving means it's not actually getting data from this directory and you know moving all the data to uh, E drive. It will just create a replica. So for that, let's run the command now enter so as you could see this process has been started and here we'll have to wait for some time because it takes some time depends on your data so as i shown earlier in my d drive which is wsus repository my data size is 9.83 gb and the total files are 875 files along with a 250 folder now if you check out here then it did in d drive my this particular two folders have been automatically created and it have probably started copying the data let's check out by going to the WSUS content yeah it's creating the folders let me just you know move it to here so that everyone can be able to see yeah as you could see the scroll bar is getting smaller and smaller which means more files are getting pasted here you can check out so let's wait for some time here or let me just go back and wait for this process to complete and once this is done then we'll verify the size of this for both the folders or you can just monitor this particular command prompt once all the data has been copied then it will show you in here by completing this command perfect now all data has been copied to this particular directory now let's check out the size properties it's also 9.83 gb 875 files and 250 folders which means by this particular e drive as well as d drive everything is same there is not even single byte difference so very first i would say that my data has been properly copied from this location to this location so we, uh, now we are done with our command prompt. Let me exit this. Now in computer management, if you could see here, then it's showing D drive in for my all the contents, which is WSUS content, which is saved, right? So let's refresh uh, once. 
with the refresh option yeah refresh now it changed to e drive now let me close this okay in my registry also it's showing d uh, w repository correct now let's refresh this okay it's got changed to e drive similar way uh, in isi where is the refresh option yeah here it is refreshed now let's go to the manage virtual directory advanced setting and here also e driver has been automatically selected so friends this is actually professional and proper method to change your directory now if you go to the your ws server then everything will be properly visible updates all updates okay in ws also all updates are visible which means my ws server is able to recognize all the updates which is present in our new e drive now let me close this open the d drive which is our previous directory right because we have currently two directories one is d drive and second is in e drive but since we have migrated our d drive uh, our ws content repository from d drive to e drive so we don't need d drive anymore or let's say let's free up the sp uh, current space so for that you can simply right click or just press shift plus delete so that this data can be permanently deleted yes now it will delete all data perfect so your d drive is completely free now now here going forward e drive will uh, you know in e drive all data will be saved related to wsus forget about the size guys this is my test server so i don't my, i'm not going to download much updates here this is just for your demonstration purpose okay so let's close this friends now i hope you have understood how to move your content or update store location from one location to another location if in case if you still have any question query doubt then please feel free to let me know in the comment box below i'll 100 percent answer all of your comments if in case you are new to my channel then please consider subscribing and don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever i'll upload new videos you will be very first to notify that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing wsus video till then bye bye